Let us see some of the India's critically endangered animals. After the endangered animals, critical endangered, then we will be entering the endangered and even vulnerable animals. Let us make note of all these species. The species are very, very important. The first and foremost one is called as the Himalayan brown bear, where it is also called as the red bear. The Himalayan brown bear, where it is found, it is found in the Nepal, Tibet, North India, Northern Pakistan. The threat is because of loss of habitat and even the persecution of the species by the human. This is one of the species. This is what the animal called as the Himalayan brown bear. A very endemic species that is present only in the northern part of India, especially in the, in the regions like Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand region, also to other part of the world like you know, Pakistan, to the regions like Tibet and even Nepal. These are the areas where you can find the, the threatened species called as the critically endangered species, the name of the species is called as Himalayan brown bear, also called as the red bear. This is about the Himalayan brown bear or the other one called as the red bear. The next very important species which is highly or critically endangered is called as the pygmy hog. What is this pygmy hog? Pygmy hog is a keystone species. This is the keystone species. This is considered to be the world's smallest wild pig. Where you can find here, this is found in the, the state like Assam. See, this was relatively undisturbed, tall Tarai region. The Tarai region, the Tarai grasslands of the India, like in found only in the Assam state, and not only in Assam, also in the, in the countries like Bhutan and Nepal. In the Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, you can find this particular species called as the pygmy hog, very very important species, called as the world's smallest wild pig. This is the species called as the pygmy hog. The next one is called as Namdapha flying squirrel. It's called as Namdapha flying squirrel, which is found in the, the states like Arunachal Pradesh. It is a unique flying squirrel that is restricted to the value of Namdapha National Park and the Wildlife Sanctuary in Arunachal Pradesh. You need to remember the names of the species and where they are located. The distribution is very, very important. It is found in the Namdapa Tiger Reserve in Arunachal Pradesh. Namdapa is the region where it is a very wonderful uh, national park, wildlife sanctuary and also the Tiger Reserve, which is located in the northern part of Arunachal Pradesh. It is threatened because of hunted for food. See the small species, that's a small animal, it is hunted for food. Especially the people who are uh, uh, the smugglers coming from the Hong Kong market. In the Hong Kong market, this particular species is having very great demand. Great demand is there for this species. The people believe that their uh, uh, the animal's blood and the flesh is, uh, is having a medicated medicated facilities where it can enhance the life of the people. Therefore, there is a very great demand for these people, for these species in the, the Chinese market, Taiwan market and therefore the smugglers from this region in the Eastern Asia, they come and they will be hunting this particular species called as Namdapa flying squirrel. The next one is called as Malabar seabed. Seabeds are basically, they belong to the cat family. They belong to the cat family. It is found in the Malabar, nothing but in the state of Kerala, earlier, which is called as the princely state of Travancore. It is endemic to India and was first reported in the Travancore, Kerala. It is a nocturnal. What do you mean by nocturnal? It comes out only during the night time. In the entire daytime, it will be hiding in its uh, habitat. Never it will be moving in the daytime. It comes only in the night time and it is found in the Western Ghats region of Kerala. The habitat is the wooded plains and the hilly slopes of the evergreen rainforest of the western guards in Kerala. The habitat destruction is because of deforestation and commercial plantation are major threats. This is about the Malabar seabed. A very very important species is called as Malabar seabed. It appears exactly just like our modern cat. The next one is called as Sumutran rhinoceros. 
The name is Sumatra Nayana, sir. They are found even in India. It's not like it, it is not uh, found in India. In fact, there are five rhinosaur species. There are five rhinos. Five different varieties of rhinos can be seen here. Let us let me give somewhere an animal. Right, yes, it, the smallest and the most endangered species of the five rhinosaur species. It is now thought to be the regionally extinct in India, which is otherwise called as extinct in wild. Extinct in wild. What are the two very important species that got extinct in wild from India? It is one is called as Sumatra rhino. Sumatran rhinoceros and the other one is called as Indian cheetah. In fact, Indian cheetah is found in the area called as the Bunny grassland that was present in Gujarat. From this area, it got extinct because of the over exploitation, killing, killing in the name of adventure, killing in the name of pleasure, especially the Britishers and also the Rajasthani royal families like Maharajas of Rajasthan, Maharajas. They used to derive great pleasure whenever they would be killing the rhin, uh, cheetah. This is one species got extinct in wild in India and the other one is called as Sumatran rhinosaur which is also got extinct in wild. Why this particular Sumatran rhino got extinct is because of poaching. Killing indiscriminately and even loss of habitat, loss of habitat and poaching. What are the other, uh, other four different types of rhinoceros? Come on, what are the other rhinos? Javan rhinos which are found basically in the Indonesia on a large scale, Indonesia, African white rhinoceros. Again see this one, white rhinoceros, African rhinoceros. Also they are at the brink of extinction. They are at the brink of extinction. They are found they are only in the captivity. What do you mean by captivity? They are extinct in wild. In the wild habitat they are not found. The governments of uh, Africa Union, they are protecting these particular rhinoceros which are called as the white rhinoceros. Then Indian one horn rhinos which are, uh, which are present in India and good numbers. Then the African general rhinoceros. These are the rhinoceros where there are four plus other one is called as the fifth one. These are the five varieties of rhinoceros you can find all over the world. Only in the continents like Africa, the country like India and Indonesia. See this one, the species are distributed very sparsely. Main reason of the species destruction is poaching and loss of habitat. Then Kashmir stag, which is also called as Hangul, is also called as Red Deer. Very, very important. In fact, this is the state animal of uh, Kashmir. This is the state animal of Kashmir. State animal of Jammu Kashmir. After becoming uh, uh, Jammu Kashmir as Union territory, now it is still a pending pending case in the what is called as uh, uh, National Green Tribunal. It is still pending in the National Green Tribunal whether it needs to be called as the state animal or the animal of Jammu Kashmir. Okay, it still is there. Even today, it is called as the state animal of Jammu Kashmir, though Jammu Kashmir became Union territory. It is called as the Kashmir stag, otherwise called as red deer. This is found in the dense riverine forests, in the high valleys and the mountains of Kashmir Valley, especially in the Chamba district of Himachal Pradesh. One is Jammu Kashmir, and even there is another region called as the Chamba district of Himachal Pradesh. These are the two areas where you can find. This particular species. Why the habitat, why the destruction is there? Is because of overgrazing by domestic livestock and poaching. This is Kashmir stag. See the animal? This is a Kashmir stag, which is a beautiful animal. They are also called as red deer. Right? Since it is red in color. Then the very, very important species is called as the peacock tarantula. Why it is called as peacock? It is appearing just like a colorful, so wide varied colors are there. See this one? Tarantula is nothing but spider. Spider. Big size spiders are called as tarantulas. It is also called as Guti orna, uh, Sapphire Ornamental Tarantula. It is also called as Guti. What is meant by Guti? Nothing but there is a region in the Andhra Pradesh by name Guti. 
This is called as Guti or Guti Sapphire Ornamental Tarantula. Is an old world species of Tarantula. This is only the only blue species of the genus. It is the only the blue species of the genus. Uh, what is the genus? The genus of Tarantula. Like others, its genus is exhibits a intricate fractal like pattern on the abdomen. This is the one. Today we will see the fractal like pattern. This is the one. This is the only species of this kind which is found in the state of Andhra Pradesh. It is found in Andhra Pradesh in the central South India, right? The habitat is a especially the Nalamala forest. Nalamala forest is the habitat of this one. This is being classified as a critical endangered. Why it was classified as a critical endangered? Earlier it was believed that this species got extinct. But recently again the, the species got spotted in the Nalamala forest. Since it got spotted again in the recent past, therefore it is very important. This is called as peacock tarantula. Then very very important species called as jetdog sculpture. This is what the jetdog sculpture. The bird is very very important bird and it is endemic to the state of Andhra Pradesh. It is a nocturnal bird. Found only in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh means whenever we are talking about Andhra Pradesh, just simply go to the Eastern Ghats. Even this one, when I am talking about the Nallamala, what do you mean by Nallamala? Nothing but the Eastern Guards of the Eastern Guards of Nallamala, uh, Eastern Guards of Andhra Pradesh, which are called as Nallamalas. Then see this Jetnam Garsar. It is found in the Sri Lanka Malayeshwara Wildlife Sanctuary. Sri Lanka Malayeshwara Wildlife Sanctuary is the headquarters of headquarters are found in the Kadapa district of Andhra Pradesh. What is this Kadapa district? Nothing but the south southernmost district. Southern district, the southern district of Andhra Pradesh, which is very close to the other uh, states like even uh, the state like Tamil Nadu. You can find that state like Tamil Nadu on the other side, right? It is the only habitat in the world which provides home for Jadong Kurzer. It's highly endangered bird species. Undisturbed shrub jungles with open areas is the habitat. But why the why it is Threaten clearing of the jungle. When the jungle is being cleared, creation of the new pastures, growing of the dry land crops, illegal trapping of the birds, plantation of exotic trees, all they are the reasons behind the threatening of the species, quarrying and construction of the river canals. Due to this one, this particular cursor, zero U R S E R, it got threatened. Very, very important species that is found only in this part of the world. But right now, what critically endangered it is uh, threatened on a great scale. Then, the last bird in this category, critically endangered, is called as the white bellied heron. What do you mean by white bellied? This is what the white color. The belly of this uh, species is white in color. It's called as white bellied heron. It's found basically in the Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. <laughs> Extremely rare bird found in five to six sites in Assam and Arunachal Pradesh, one or two sites in Bhutan, and few in Myanmar. In India, it is found only in Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Since it is uh, the neighboring uh, countries like Bhutan and Myanmar, the birds used to move here and there. The habitat, what is the habitat? Rivers with sand, gravel, bars, or the inland lakes. Loss and Degradation of lowland forest and the wetland through direct exploitation of the disturbance by the disturbance by the human. This is called as white bellied heron. This bird got threatened because of the degradation of habitat. All almost all all the species are threatened because of habitat destruction. Then move to the next one called as endangered species. What are the endangered species? What is the definition? Anywhere between 70 to 90 percent of the population, if it is threatened within a span of its three generations or within 10 years, whichever is less. Indian wildlife, very, very important. Where you can find, find here in the Kutch region, the Ran of Kutch region of Gujarat. In fact, you know, these animals are not eaten, not poached, but the problem here is. The destruction of uh, habitation, the destruction of the habitation where the people population steadily increasing, 
Today is the last refuge lies in the Indian wildlife sanctuary which is called as the Little Ran of Kutch region. Why it is threatened? Because of diseases, habitat destruction due to salt activities and invasive species. The very very important invasive species, the other day also I was talking about this one, Prosopis zuliflora. Prosopis zuliflora which is available widely and extensively all over India wherever the evaporation is more than precipitation. And encroachment by raising by the species by the tribal people like Maldari tribe. Who are these people? They are the Maldari tribes that are found here in the state of Gujarat. The Maldari tribes are taking their cattle for the grazing. These white grass they are not getting any food, therefore it is lost forever. There we can find this is another important breeding. In captivity is also found in the region like Tamil Nadu. Arigna, Anna, Zoological Park. This is a very important uh, area where you can find the breeding activity. The next species. This is very important for as the Indian pangolin. The very very important one for as the Indian pangolin. What is Indian pangolin? Out of the eight species of pangolin, Indian pangolin and the Chinese pangolin, they are found in India. They are found in India. What are the two? What is called as the Indian variety and even the Chinese variety is found in India. Chinese pangolin. See, this is called as uh, Manis Kariskau data. Kariskau data. It's called as the Manis Kariskau data. This is what the scientific name, okay? No need to remember this Manus Carisco data, simply called as the Indian pangolin or the Chinese pangolin. The Indian pangolin is a large anterior covered dorsally of about 11 to 13 rows. Could you be able to see these 13 rows? They are called as scales. They are called as the scales over the species. This species is understood to occur in various types of tropical regions and as the open land. Close to even villages. They are found very commonly in the northern India. So common in the agricultural field, so common in the open forest, so common in the in the human habitation also. Widely distributed in India, except the arid regions, high Himalayas and entire uh, the northeastern region. The other areas like the Great Northern Plains, entire Great Northern Plains, you can find this Indian pangolin is a common species. It can be found at the elevation up to 2,500 meters. The species occurs in also Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal and Sri Lanka. What is the current related part regarding this Indian pangolin? Here, the major threat to pangolin in India are hunting and poaching. This is a common thing where we are we see for all other species. The protein source and the traditional medicine. This is believed to have certain traditional medicines. Therefore, they are internationally traded for its meat and the scales. Scales are highly utilized for the medical purposes. Especially in the East and Southeast Asia, it can be particularly in Myanmar, Shen and Vietnam. Every third year, the third Saturday, this is very important, the third Saturday of February is celebrated as the World Pangolin Day. It was celebrated on February 15, 2020. Also, it was celebrated in the year 2021 as the World Pangolin Day. World Pangolin Day. Pangolin Day. Basically, in the month of February, which is called as the third Saturday. Third Saturday in the February is called as the World Pangolin Day. What is the current related one? I must mention this is very important. The number of pangolins is rapidly declining. This is uh, mainly because of the skills which are rich in medical properties. Recently, China found that pangolin scales can be used to treat coronavirus. Where we people are living under the pandemic called as the COVID-19, but China has discovered that the pangolin scales are having certain medicated facilities which can cure the coronavirus. As pangolin numbers are declining greatly in Madhya Pradesh, again this is a very important point to be remembered here, the first government in India, the state called as Madhya Pradesh Forest, uh, Madhya Pradesh, the forest department of Madhya Pradesh has radio tagged Indian pangolins. 
What do you mean by radio tagging? Nothing but the people want to study the movements of the animal, where they are moving, how they are living, what are the other characteristics. Whenever we are studying more, what we will be studying for the first time, we will be learning their ecology. Once we learn their ecology, what they are eating, how they are behaving, then we can produce some of the medicines from the, the Indian pangolin or even the food from the Indian pangolin. Therefore, in the first state government called as Madhya Pradesh, because of uh, its forest department, the forest department of Madhya Pradesh, for the first time tried to learn the Indian pangolin by radio tagging them. This is a current related one. The question can be asked like which of the following states has radio tagged by Indian pangolin to study the ecology of the pangolin. The next species is called as red panda. This is a wonderful animal where it's a beautiful eating animal, serious animal. This is a red panda. It is a move from vulnerable to ending. Recently. Earlier it was in the vulnerable list. But because of declining of the population on a great scale, now it has entered into endangered species. See how beautiful the animal is. It's called as red panda. Red panda is endemic to the temperate forest region of the Himalayas, especially in the state of Sikkim and the upper reaches of Assam, especially the upper Assam districts. Also the northern part of Arunachal Pradesh. Basically in the hilly terrain, in the hilly terrain of Assam, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. These are the areas where you can find this red panda. Then the other animal is called as lion tail macaw. This is endemic to Western Ghats, especially in the southern part of Western Ghats, the state of Kerala, and to certain extent, the southern parts of even Karnataka also. It avoids the human presence and they do not live feed and travel through plantations. Habitat is evergreen forest of Western Ghats. The habitat fragmentation due to spread of agriculture, tea, coffee, tea, sinkona. Construction of water reservoirs and the human elements such activities where the the uh, lion tail macaw got threatened. It is present in the Silent Valley National Park. In the national park called as the Silent Valley National Park, where this particular species is dominantly found. It's called as lion tail macaw. Then very important other species in the endangered list is called as Nilgiritha. In fact, the thars are found in two places in India. One is called as the Himalayan thar, the Himalayan thars, and the next one is called as Nilgiri thar. The Nilgiri thar is the largest of the three thars. Where is the third thar? The third thar is there in the Arab world. The two species are there in India, the third is there in the Arab world. The species inhabited in the mountain regions, the grasslands of the Western Ghats. It is found in the state of Tamil Nadu and it is called as the state animal of Tamil Nadu. But, uh, till now we came across two state animals. One is called as the Kashmir stag, which is considered to be the state animal of Jammu and Kashmir. Now we are coming to the state I mean, animal of Tamil Nadu. This is Nilgiri Tha. In fact, there is another vehicle also in the name of this species called as the Thar vehicle, which is Mahindra's company, right? This is what the Thar, the same spelling. Threatening. How it got threatened? Because of the habitat loss, overgrazing, illegal hunting. This is what the human, human is illegally hunting all this thing. Therefore, the species got threatened. Then coming to the third threatened is called as vulnerable species. What do you mean by vulnerable? When the population is declining around some 50 to 70 percent in a span of three generations or within a span of 10 years. Within a span of 10 years. This is called as vulnerable list. The first and foremost species is called as one horn rhino. One horn rhinos, once upon a time, they were there in the endangered list. Now they have entered into vulnerability. This is a positive sign. When any animal is entering from the endangered into vulnerable, then it is a positive sign. Means what the population is increasing. Found only in the tall grasslands of the forest of the foothills of the Himalayan region, especially the Tarai region. 
What do you mean by Tarayan region? Tarayan region is such an area where you can find the water logging conditions. Water logging conditions. In the water logging conditions along the foothills of the Himalayas, the region is called as the Tarai region. Probably you might have heard about this Tarai word in geography. T E R A I Tarai region. National Park. It is found in the Kaziranga National Park, Pavitora Wildlife Sanctuary, Manas Wildlife Sanctuary. And right now, this particular this particular species is being translocated. Translocated. What do you mean by translocated? Intentionally, the species is transported to even Dipru Saikova, Dipru Saikova Biosphere Reserve. Also, there is another very important national park called as Orong National Park in Assam. Orong National Park of Assam. In all these areas, now, right now, particular as the Indian uh, one horned rhino is available. The status it has moved on. See here, it is given here itself. Endangered to vulnerable, earlier it was now endangered list, now recently moved to vulnerable because of the very important program. You can uh, check this program, just go through this program. This is called as the Indian, Indian Rhino Vision, Rhino Vision 2020. What is the biggest problem for the rhinoceros? It is the poaching. The poaching is happening because of this particular horn. Could you able to see this horn? The horn, see the image here it is given as double horn. But uh, in fact, this is not the original image. You can find only the one horn for the rhinoceros in India. Is the itself is called as one horn rhinoceros, right? This for this horn, the people are killing this animal. Why this particular horn is important? It is believed that again from the Chinese market. Again from the Chinese market, especially the smugglers from Taiwan, smugglers from Hong Kong, smugglers from Hong Kong and even you can find the smugglers from Macau. These areas where there is a very great demand for the harm. It is believed that this particular horn is having medicated value. Therefore the people used to kill this animal and they used to cut the horn and they used to smuggle the horn to the eastern countries, especially to the countries like China and Southeast Asia. This is about the one horn rhino. The next one, Dugong, very very important animal. It's called as the sea cow. It is the size of the cow. At the same time, it is used to uh, eating grass. Here, it is consuming the grass that is present in the seabed. This animal is hunted for its meat and oil. The animal is full of full flesh and oil. Therefore, it is hunted for its meat and oil. Habitat is uh, degraded because of fishing, fishing related fatalities. Dugong belongs to manatee species. It is the manatee species which used to live in the water. This is the manatee species. Where do you find? It is found in the Indian seas near the shores of Gulf of Mandal. The very very important habitation. This is suppose in India, this is Sri Lanka. This is the area which is called as the Gulf of Mandar. You can find the Gulf, Gulf of Mandar. Also, you can find the Gulf of Kutch. If it is the one, this is called as the Gulf of Kutch. Gulf of Kutch and Andaman Nicobar. See this one. The bottom this one is Andaman Nicobar. This is Andaman Nicobar. This is the area. You can find in Andaman Nicobar. Also, in the world countries, you can find the Caribbean Sea. Where do you find the Caribbean Sea? Suppose if it is the North America and this is South America. In this area, you can find the sea called as Caribbean Sea. This is the Caribbean Sea. There you can find the dugongs. Gulf of Mexico. Again, here, here is called as the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean Sea, and Amazon Basin, Western Africa. Suppose that this is Africa, this is the Gulf of Guinea region, the Gulf of Western Africa. These are the areas you can find the Dugong. Threat is because of red tide. What is this red tide? A, a sort of algae that is grown on an abundant scale and the entire sea appears red in color. This red tide uh, is very threatening uh, factor for the Dugong. Also the coastal development projects and hunting. These are the three very important factors for threatening the species. This is about the 
the species that are vulnerable threatened under iucn one is vulnerable other one is endangered and the other one is called as critical endangered 